Resizing an entire group of photos to prep for the web is actually very easy here inside Perfect Browse using our batch function. I have seven different images that I've edited. However, I forgot to resize them and get them ready to place up online. So I'd like to do that now. The first thing I need to do is select all of my images. So I'll choose the first photo, hold the shift key, and then choose the last image. Then I'll go up to the file menu and scroll down to batch. Once inside the batch dialog box, right up at the top is your source. You want to make sure that this is set to selected items, which means that it's going to pull from the items you have chosen inside of Perfect Browse. Then down below, you'll need to click to add a module. When you open up this drop down menu, scroll down and select Perfect Resize. This is how we're going to resize our image to fit online. Down at the bottom of the Perfect Resize section, there's an area called Image Resizing, which we'll check on. Then we'll open up the Resize to Fit drop down menu. There are three different options here. Width and height is wonderful if you have a whole bunch of images that are exactly the same width and height. If you have a couple of different photos that are different orientations and slightly different sizes, long edge and short edge are great options here. I like to choose long edge. And what that means when I choose that option is that I can select a specific pixel amount for the longest edge of the image, and then the program will do the rest of the resizing for me. So let's say I'd like all of these to have a pixel edge of 900. Then I don't have to try and calculate what the width and the height needs to be. The program's going to do that for me. Then I'll need to choose my resolution. I'll type in 72 pixels per inch to prep for the web. And then last, underneath the image type drop down menu, I want to make sure I select general purpose. I don't need to choose a special option here. I'm just downsizing my photos. So there's nothing specific I'll need to do. Once that's done, I then need to scroll down to the bottom to the destination pane and choose where I want my photos to end up. My favorite option underneath the Save To drop down menu is Current Location. It will save all of my images back to the folder that they're automatically in so that I don't have to go hunting for them. But you can also go through and choose the Folder option and select one that you may have created specifically for your web based photos. You also want to make sure that underneath existing files, if you choose the current location option, that you select prevent overwrite. This will make sure that all of your original large images will stay the same and then side by side, smaller versions will be there as well, instead of completely eradicating those great original photos that you worked so hard on. I'll need to adjust my file type here. We're going to change it from Photoshop to JPEG. I'm going to make sure my quality is all the way up at 100, and then I'm going to need to readjust my color space. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and select sRGB. The last section down here is the ability to rename your files. If you go up to where it says current name and open this up, you can type in text or use a serial number to readjust your files. I'm going to select text and let's go ahead and type in web portraits. Then I can make sure that all of my new smaller web size versions have a brand new name. Below, I also have serial number selected, which means that my images will get numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. To add or subtract either of these options, you can go through and use the plus and minus buttons on the right hand side. Now when I'm finished, just click OK. It's going to process all of these smaller versions of my original photos and they'll be placed inside the exact same folder that you're looking at right now. It'll let you know that the batch job was processed and that there weren't any errors. And when I go ahead and click close, all of the web size versions are going to be down below my originals.